If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. The subject of firearms, especially in the home, can be a very controversial subject. Being able to protect yourself, your family, your resources, and your personal wealth is crucial. In our society, we have become accustomed to law enforcement being a 911 call away. Well, what if that were no longer the case? Phone lines and cell towers were down, and you have no ability to request law enforcement assistance. What are you going to do? Have you thought about this? Do you have a plan? Some will say, you bet I have a plan. I have my Second Amendment rights to bear arms. And as I'm sure most would agree that using a firearm to protect your personal wealth would be your least preferred and last choice option. But if it's necessary, are you prepared? Many might argue that a firearm isn't necessary, and to those I have but one simple question. What personal protection weapon would you use against a perpetrator who has a firearm? Let me know in the comments section what you would use if an individual or even a group of armed people came to your home with the intent of hurting you, your family, or taking your property away from you. The most powerful tool you have to protect your silver is secrecy. But if you ever have to use your silver for barter or for the purchase of goods and services, it's inevitable that at some point people will realize that you have it. It's at this point you have a decision to make. Do you defend your wealth or do you allow it to be taken from you? If you wisely divide up your stack and stash it in different geographical locations, then perhaps allowing what was discovered to be taken may be the lesser of evils. Therefore, I'm a strong advocate for splitting up your stack and placing it in different locations. Each location should have one other person that knows where it is, but that person must only know the location of that single stash. This way, if any single person becomes compromised, they can't lead the bad guys to all your wealth. Once you decide to use lethal force to protect your wealth, there is no turning back. Even if you successfully defend your property, they will only come back later with more people and bigger guns. So, having a small stash to give up may be an effective strategy that results in the least amount of conflict and the minimal loss to your personal wealth. It would be while traveling with your wealth that I feel that you would most likely find yourself in a position of needing to defend your wealth with a firearm. Now, I'm not talking about commercial transportation, of course, but more along the lines of while on foot, horseback, vehicle, or any other personal mode of transportation you may have. Once you decide you will defend your wealth with a firearm, there are a few points that I feel that you should be mindful of if you want to successfully defend your wealth with lethal force. 1. Choose a firearm that you are very comfortable, proficient, and extremely familiar with. This means spending many hours on a regular basis shooting rounds downrange. A firearm should feel like a natural extension of your arm and not a foreign, awkward object in your hand. 2. Choose the correct ammunition for your particular firearm and for the situation. Ammo comes in a wide range of varieties for every caliber. Having plus plus magnum armor piercing rounds may not necessarily be the best choice while staying in a hotel or on the road because it will penetrate several walls before stopping and needlessly endangering innocents in adjacent rooms. Recoil and follow-on shots can also be a consideration for your choice of ammo to use. 3. Condition yourself to know that if you draw your weapon, it is to discharge it, and when you do, it is with the precise intent to be fatal to the perpetrator. 
never shoot to warn or wound. If your intent is to warn or wound, then choose another weapon to achieve that. 4. Once the decision is made to engage, place two well-aimed shots to the center mass of the target. And if you still feel threatened by the target, place a single well-aimed shot to the head. There could be body armor worn or perhaps the perpetrator is hyped up on drugs or adrenaline. Either way, a well-placed headshot usually resolves this situation. And 5. Never assume the target is down for good. Always be situationally aware as you either remain on the scene or as you depart the area. Do you have your stack divided into more than one location? Does more than one person know each location? If traveling with your wealth, what will you use as a weapon of personal protection? Let me know in the comment section below. A big thank you to all who support this channel with your likes and comments. I don't monetize my channel so your support is greatly appreciated. If you are not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Then select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. And as always, feel free to share this content with all.